I'm Tony Zork, and I'm the CEO of Accounting Seed. Accounting Seed is the world's first accounting platform powered by Salesforce.com. I'm also a professional iconoclast. An iconoclast is someone who challenges the existing way of doing things, designs a plan to do it better, and executes that plan. And you can find out more about being an iconoclast in my book that's just come out. It's called Iconoclasm, a survival guide in the post-pandemic economy. And I partnered with Forbes Book to write it. The link is in the comments below. These are the five things that I've learned about being a CEO that I wish I had known before I started the job. And number one is don't do everything your lawyer says you should do. When I started my business in the beginning, if customers didn't like what they got, they wanted their money back. It didn't matter how many legal contracts I had. I had to give them their money back to provide good references and avoid bad reviews. It's not worth really spending a lot of time on legal documents, especially in the beginning. Number two is the illusion that you have no boss. I have 15,000 bosses and they're called my users and customers and they're a lot more demanding than the original boss I had before I quote unquote worked for myself. Number three is everything takes three times as long as it seems and that's because you're living the job 24 hours a day. So eight hours a day times three is 24. It feels like everything takes three times longer and in 10 years you will feel like you have lived 30 years. Number four is watching out for hidden costs of things. All the time, it looks like something may be easy to do, but by the time you review it and have the energy behind it to do it properly, it takes a lot more cost and it's really analyzed things holistically, which I wish I would have done more in the beginning as the CEO. And then number five, and most importantly, is the job of the CEO. And the job of the CEO is to find the next thing holding back the company from progress, design a plan to get the company through that and execute it. And then once they're done with that, they ask that same question again. And this is a much different mindset than thinking I'm an engineer or I'm a marketing guy or I'm a salesperson and I should do that and hire people around me to do these other things. The job of the CEO is to find that challenge and be adaptable and overcome that challenge. And that's in my mind what makes a successful CEO.